Hermeneutics is a common word in theological and biblical studies, but we don't use it often in our daily lives. Many of us will notice that the word hermeneutics derives from the family of Greek terms that includes the name Hermes, the mythological messenger of the gods. The word itself derives from the verb hermeneuo, which means interpret or explain. So, broadly speaking, when we refer to hermeneutics, we have in mind the interpretation or explanation of some kind of message or communication. In general, biblical interpreters distinguish two ways of investigating scripture, exegesis and eisegesis. Exegesis comes from a Greek term meaning led out of or derived from, and means to pull out or derive meaning from a text, especially by looking at things like the historical context, literary forms, use of grammar and vocabulary, theological setting, and so on. Although there are many things we might say about exegesis, for now we just want to point out that the exegesis we've done in the past helps prepare us for the task of interpretation. By contrast, eisegesis has the connotations of led into or put into. It means to read meaning into a passage. Scientifically oriented biblical interpreters work very hard to avoid eisegesis. Instead, they employ principles of interpretation that they believe will ensure them of exegetical, not eisegetical, understandings of Scripture. Every involvement we have with the exegesis of Scripture prepares us for further interpretation of the Bible. The knowledge, skills, and attitudes we develop from one encounter with the Bible influence us the next time we go to Scripture. For instance, every time we study biblical vocabulary and grammar, we increase our ability to handle these aspects of Scripture more responsibly. When we work to understand the literary types of Scripture, such as narratives, laws, poetry, prophecies, proverbs, and the like, we're better equipped to understand them at a later time. And as we learn about the ancient history of the Bible, we're prepared to come back to the Scriptures for further understanding. Every effort we put into the exegesis of Scripture helps prepare us for further study. As we interpret Scripture, it's so important that we remember that we're not just handling the words of human authors, but that the Holy Spirit of God, the third person of the Trinity, has breathed out these words through the distinctive personalities, styles, experiences of those human authors. As we go to Scripture, that means because the Spirit who breathed these words out is also resident and at work within us as believers. In a sense, we have access to the author uh, of Scripture. And we need that desperately. We need, as we approach Scripture, to come prayerfully, dependent upon the Spirit to open our minds, as well as to open the Scriptures to our minds.